Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Field of Glory 2 Mithridates of Pontus Campaigns. I am, as always, the Fuzz. Here we are on stage 4 out of 7. As you might recall, last time we managed to knock out a Roman army. However, it, there's been some developments according to our little blurb on the upper right hand corner. So the invaders were mopped up and uh, I was ready to move into Greece, where I'd pose as a liberator. I mean, I destroyed the only Roman army, right? However, Lucius Cornelius Sulla has arrived, and uh, it's time to fight him. So, uh, from what I remember about the last battle that we played, uh, I didn't do too great. Uh, it was pretty close, um, and I ended up winning kind of at the last minute when I managed to kind of stave off defeat rather than earn victory. Um, so... Let's let's see how this um, battle has some lessons learned, and hopefully, okay, um, and hopefully it will be a better situation. So I'm just taking a look at the battlefield. Um, there is an impassable stream right here, which is awesome, um, which means that my battlefield is actually a lot smaller, which also means that I can use this as a uh, kind of flank in itself. So I'm going to do what I always do, which is autofill. Um, and then I want to kind of see what situation that leaves me in. I'm actually pretty happy with this this army so far. I have, um, let's turn around so we can get a better look of them. So we have uh, some good spearmen, more bands, pike phalanx, imitation legionnaires, more pike phalanx. So from the lessons learned last battle, um, absolutely should never have pike phalanx separate. You always need to have them um, flanked by some troops that are actually going to help. Um, so I'm going to make sure that spearmen are by spearmen, blah, blah, blah. Um, and we have a metric load of cavalry, um, which I think will be to my advantage. So I have a ton of infantry here. Um, some Thracians is back up. See, I'm going to try to destroy... Um, or not destroy, but um, all of these javelin men, I don't really want them. So I'm going to go ahead and remove them all. That gives me 65. Um, I really hate javelin men, to be honest. I know they're good at filling the gaps, um, but it's not really going to work out for me. So I have 65, and um, javelin men, the reason they chose them is because they're 30 points. Um, however, I think it makes more sense to get a... Um, another type of unit. So I could do a warband. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Um, or an imitation legionnaire. So what I'm going to do is is actually choose a warband. Um, let's see. So with the warband selected, let's go ahead and deploy here. Oh, no. You know what? I've actually never deployed one of these stupid things. Um, so, whatever. Javelin men it is, I guess. Boy, you know, you'd think that after playing 50 hours of this game, I'd have a sense, but I, I just always autofill. Um, so that's embarrassing. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. Let's, let's redo this. So I have zero here, right? No. Yes. Okay, you're gone. Now we go to Warband, and we say... Let's add one. Okay, there we go. Okay, so warband added. And now auto deploy. So let's fix that. So now I've got javelin men. Oh, I didn't get rid of my javelin men. Oh, you know what? I did. You know what? I am confused, and I don't like it, and there we go, whatever. All right, so we'll just have to deal with that. Light javelin man, go up here. I don't think it makes sense to have cataphracts at all on that side, to be honest. Um, wow, that's a fancy scythe chariot, huh? Um, I have so many armored horsemen here. I'm just going to... To say that that's the best thing. Light javelin men are nice because those are 
shock troops. So I think this gives me enough maneuverability with the core of my army here. These guys, we're just going to move them around the back um, as to allow for helping fill in gaps when it comes. Um, I feel pretty good about this battle setup, so let us accept and uh, let's get this let's get this going. Oh boy. So they had the same idea as me, um, which I guess makes sense. Hmm. So let's see, they've got light horse archers here. I think my guys are going to make short work of them. So really what I want to do is I say let's move everybody up because that's going to lead to um, a little more, and let's move that, and um, that'll lead to a little more maneuverability for my units here, because I want them, while it's easy to move everybody in mass, I'd rather do that. Okay, nice. And then cavalry, yeah. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, let's see, can I heal anybody yet? Nope. But here we can. to just try to kill these guys. I could move my Javan men up, but my sense is they're going to scoot up here. I'm going to be able to kind of get them from all sides, and I should be able to route one of those. Um, so it looks good. Let's confirm. <coughs> Pardon me, drinking some water. <coughs> it's a metal bottle. Um, so I'm pretty excited because I've actually completed all the campaigns in, in the original Field of Glory 2 release, um, including some of the downloaded ones because I, I do enjoy this game. I haven't really explored all the custom battles, but uh, they just announced last week a DLC already called Immortal Fire, or, or Immortal Fire and uh, it covers Alexander's campaigns, the Achaemenids, um, all these Greeks, um, so lots of hoplite fighting, lots of um, interesting varied combat, although, you know, granted hoplite fighting isn't exactly known for being varied, but um, the introduction of some other armies, I think there's something like 30 new armies, nations to choose from in different time periods, it just sounds awesome. Um, so that actually releases, I believe, next week. So that is great, um, but it also means that I gotta kinda book it through here all right, disrupted already. Excellent. So let's just try to kill some of these guys. I do want to just get a little bit of... Um, okay. I'm just going to charge because I think it will be to my benefit to break up these troops. Because if I can kind of route these idiots... Um, then it'll give me a lot more maneuverability, and if this cavalry is all flying around to the side, um, as these units go closer, I'll be able to turn around, draw off um, the subgeneral and some of his cavalry, and eventually I'll be able to just swing in from behind while these guys just hold. Um, so basically, what I'm my strategy here is um, using the cavalry as the hammer. Wait, hold on. You know, I read something the other day, let me let me add some context, where Alexander the Great, mind, <laughs> um, he used the uh, phalanxes as the holding force, and then he used the cavalry as kind of the, the trap that, that swings shut and uh, deals with the rest of the units. And I think that's kind of my strategy. Um, there was something about how some of the successor kingdoms against the Romans kind of lost sight of that, and they would, and this is just what I read, I don't know how true it is, and I'm going to add some doubt to it, but um, I read that the successor kingdoms like Ptolemaic Egypt, the Seleucids, blah blah blah, Seleucids, um, they would 
do it the other way around so that cavalry would be used more as a holding force and then the phalanx would be the kind of hammer and so the problem with that is um, right hammer anvil I don't, you, you get what I'm saying I hope um, basically the problem is that the Romans with the manipular system would be able to break up the uh, attacks of the phalanx and then the cavalry wouldn't be able to kind of distract or hold off everybody before the phalanx itself was uh, ripped apart and I think we got a little bit of that in the um, last battle where um, my phalanx just started breaking apart and breaking apart and it was a big pain in the butt so You'll notice what I'm doing here is I'm keeping this line right at the river edge um, because I doubt they're going to be able to swing out or they will swing out and attack everything. Um, and so I'm going to hopefully be able to exploit with my javelin men some of the gaps in the line. And maybe I will actually take back what I said about javelin men being garbage. You know, I know their use is entirely um, different to to kind of why I call them garbage. You know, they're not supposed to be a hold the line, stave off a Roman legion. They're supposed to be a, a unit that kind of helps fill the gaps, helps your other units get into place that are more strong um, and able to handle that. But ultimately, you know, I think this is good. So that ultimately, I do not care for their actual purpose. Um, Beggars can't be choosers, though, so we have two of them. And the reason I say beggars can't be choosers is because I couldn't figure out how to undeploy them and add another warband. Um, and let me tell you, that warband would be really great right here. Uh, kind of where my cavalry is moving out. Because, of course, the fear is that if my warband gets flanked, then we have a big problem, and I just have a bunch of freaking javelin men to deal with it. Um, maybe I should use some of the Feroi and move them over here to help. I, I might actually do that. Oh shoot, I didn't notice the warband and the pike phalanx getting messed up there. Not ideal. Okay cool, so the Roman legionnaires are moving in. So I talked trash about the raw legionnaires last time, and I learned my lesson in that they uh, managed to route quite a bit of my army. Um, but hopefully the slack legionnaires. Let's see, quality average. Quality raw. See, I don't know what was going on then. If they're raw, then... Ridiculous. So I am drawing off some of these units here. So what I should do is just attack here. All right, well, let's get started. First of all, I think I can get this guy fragmented before the day is done. Yep, cool. You know, let's just make this a little easier. Boom. I actually didn't expect that. I just assumed they would get stuck in. Um, some battling, but that solves that. Okay, not fragmented. However, what happens if... Yeah, perfect. Alright, now you guys, let's actually move back and turn around. Because as soon as I attack... There we go. Alright, well, that still kind of helps solve some problems. Now, um, Scythe Chariots. Is this going to do anything? Not really. Um, there we go then. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted. I wanted these guys to get so... Um, pushed back and evading that... Oh no. That could have gone better. Let's move these guys here. You guys here. Uh, I'm gonna hold on moving these cataphractos around. 
I'll, I'll look at those again before the end of the turn, though. Okay, so um, we have some friends. Let's see if I can't get these archers to route, though. I mean, I like my odds. I've almost killed half of them. And, uh, they will auto-break at that point, I believe. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my god. Just trying to kill some... There we go. Okay. See, that's gotta be nice, right? Your compatriots were out in front of you because half of them died. Alright, and then let's hold everybody there. Okay, so let's reassess this. I kind of want to move these up a little bit. Because I want everybody a little closer, but perfect. Alright, dispersed. Always good when the routing units disperse right away, because then that means that they're not going to be able to come back and screw up the end of the battle with a whole bunch of... Um, rallied troops popping up in the, the distance. Okay, interesting. Legionnaires are moving in. Let's see. Interesting. Subgeneral here. Yeah, Sulla is way in the back. They're certainly turning on my cavalry here, so at least I'll be able to kind of draw them off. Um, and hopefully that'll give me enough time to kind of spring my trap, which is less of a trap and more of a uh, pretty, pretty obvious battlefield maneuver. I do love the maps. I think they're really pretty in this weird tabletop way, you know? Oh, interesting. So we have a cavalry engagement, and uh, I guess that's the danger of getting a little too close. They thought it was better to do that. Alright. I think I'll be able to swing around some of this cavalry to attack the noble cavalry here. A oh, good rallied. That's usually what happens after we kill some enemies. So let's start on this flank, as always. Um, I just want to pin you guys down. And it uh, didn't work, but that's fine. Alright, now you guys, just get out of there. Got other stuff to do. Um, let's see if I can't kill you. Nope. Oh. Alright, that's fine. Maybe I can... No. I was hoping I'd be able to shoot them down. I might be able to, though. It'd be nice to have them break, but I doubt they will. Nope, not even close. Alright, let's see here. So first of all, let's move these guys. Um, same here, let's move them. Perfect, I can attack them. And I... Huh. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Well, great, because now they're going to be flanked. Or, uh, it'll be a side... Oh, well. You know, it is what it is. So I'm going to lose this engagement. So let's get that out of there. Let's move the... Scythe Chariots, because, I mean, wh why are those even there, really? And, um, let's screw with the Legionnaires. And... Uh, do not like this. Please fall back without... Perfect. 
Please don't get disrupted. Hell yeah. Alright. Now let's turn the cataphracts. And likewise, let's turn you guys this direction. So we'll have some maneuverability. These guys, they can attack me next turn. So let's move them out of the way. And um, kind of what I'm assuming is these guys are going to attack here and I'm going to have to do something about it. Um, and I think I will do what I was saying and move these guys. Alright, now you, let's withdraw. Same. Because I want to push forward one. And you might be saying, but Fuzz, why, why only one? Um, and the answer is, last time I made the mistake of charging with my phalanx, and uh, I ended up winning a lot of those engagements with the phalanxes, and then everyone died, because the phalanxes charged the pushed back legionnaires, and, you know, next thing you know, everybody's dead. So, not very useful for our troop movements to have a bunch of isolated and dead phalanxes. So that's kind of what, where my mind is on that. Alright, so I have a pretty good catch-all here, especially if it turns. Like, I'm kind of leaving this flank open because this cavalry will sweep in and take care of that guy. Alright, let's go. Well, those horses I was trying to kill just rallied, so that's too bad. Alright. First impact. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that could have gone better. See, I think this is going to go better. Right? Okay, that did go better. Oh shoot, I totally forgot to shoot some of the javelins and archers. Oh well. Hmm, hold firm, but it pushed back. If I can just survive that first charge from all these guys, it'll be a lot better, you know? Oh, I did not expect that. That'll help. Especially if they get pushed back. Please don't get pushed back, though. Oh my god. Well, see, now I have no choice. I have to attack them. Everybody's attacking everybody in that cavalry corner. That that might have fallen apart at the last minute, that plan. Alright, come on, General, die, die, don't get pushed back, please don't push back. Uh, gonna be honest, guys. Not a great start. This is just troubling. Alright, well, this is going to be a close battle, but I think I can still turn it. This armored cavalry is going to have to chase these guys. Like, there's just no choice they have to. And I mean, who knows, maybe I'll kill the general, and then that will be an excellent you know, change of, of uh, luck. Alright, so first of all, like, just die. Please get fragmented. No? Okay, that's fine, because I'm just going to walk up to you. Yes. And die. Die, 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 die. Nope, oh, that's fine. Alright, so you... Oh, what's that? You're running away? Just as I thought, you coward. Same as you guys. Light javelin horse, charging, evading. Oh, cowards. Oh. That's too bad. Looks like you guys are cowards too. And let's keep on swinging these guys around. That 
let's turn them slightly as to attack these raw legionnaires because screw them. Keep that going. And uh, I guess I should have. Uh, uh, the moon day has come. This is why I'm kind of nervous. I do want to. Let's just move it. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Can I undo? Yeah, undo. They're not going to make it to me, so I think I'll have a chance. Okay. You stay there. And I am going to attack here because I want them to die. Okay, good. I'm not going to attack there because my general dying would be bad for me. Um, okay, so far so good. Let's form a square because I don't like how that looks. Hmm. Not a great start. Alright. I kind of want to see what happens before I commence with my troops. Well, Jesus. Oh my god. You know, this is definitely troubling, um, because they're definitely going to route right here. Oh, they're not. Oh, let me know. So the other guys route, but then these guys don't. I don't really get it, but I hate it. All right. I could use some good news. That is the good news I wanted. I swear to God, if that troop rallies... Oh, great. That's what I wanted. That's why I didn't charge there. Alright, these guys are square, so we're good. And the best part is... Oh my god. See, they can't get pushed back because they're square. I just made that up. I don't know if that's true. It seems right. Um, everybody's attacking them. I pick them, so I'm going to attack these guys and say, please die. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and um, assume that this side is lost, like entirely freaking lost. But I'm going to have to charge like somebody. All right, those guys can't be far from being dead. And I'm totally going to charge everybody at these guys, because I hate them. Seems good. Mm. See, that's not what I needed. Although maybe a charge bonus wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Please don't out. I need you. No. Okay. Not, not good. <laughs> not good at all. I should have gotten that war band. <sighs> if I can just get one of the good legions to break, then I think I'll be able to push through quite a few. Are you guys good legions? Yeah, you're normal legions. Alright, good. Alright, so here is the um, everything is going terribly problem. So I have no choice but to charge this side because they're stuck. Um, I don't want to give up a flank. And Okay, that's actually great news. I can't believe that went as well as it did. Um, now you guys have no choice but to charge because otherwise this entire side gets rolled up and they fell back so it didn't do anything. Come on. Looks like it's time for some point blank arrow fire. Please die. 
<laughs> not good enough. You know, I did just realize that those were singers and not troops, but... Good god. Um, I don't know, turn this way, that way you're not getting flanked entirely. Alright, you guys move in. You guys... You know, I should've just had them step into the line. I'm an idiot. But they held for- no, they didn't hold for pitch. Well, These guys are, are going to die. And I, uh, I look forward to that time. Alright, let's try these guys. See, my troops aren't very good. That's kind of the problem I find myself faced with. Um, so I'm gonna lock these guys down. Because, I mean, why wouldn't I? Let's see how a Legion handles some friggin' cataphracts. You punks. I'm just throwing everything at the wall and seeing what sticks. Um, Because, okay, they're getting attacked by like three people. They disrupted them. Oh boy. Why did I do that? That was stupid. Oh. You guys get ready to move in here. Come on, die. Nope, oh, okay, that's fine. Alright, so you just, I don't know, chase them out. Cool, cool. Oh good, they didn't actually evade. Do you think I could do that? Yeah, this is gonna be good. Hell yeah. Oh no, but they're locked in combat. Ah. Okay, and um, let's see, where where'd you guys go? Can I kill you? I just need a couple. Wasn't enough, that's fine. Come on, die. Yes. Alright, you greasy, greasy javelin horse. Alright, hopefully I can just chase them off the map. Alright, where else do I have? I guess that's that. Although well, my plan to flank the flank maneuver <laughs> went terribly, so that's great. Um, however, my center is holding. It's a little goofy, but it's holding. Um, yeah, never mind, I take that back. At least they're holding. It's just that if, if that unit routes and the Legionnaires turn around and attack my phalanx from the side, any of the other ones, I'm 100% screwed. Um, however, my cataphracts are going to be able to attack on the side soon, and that should make a decent difference. Oh my god. See, you can't get pushed back, right? Oh, you can. See, I thought you were a square. Well, not anymore, I guess. That's nice, I fall back from the Roman side for once. I bet they route. Those guys do not look good. Huh. I don't know why I guess this stuff. Ooh, interesting. Romans are handling that cavalry really poorly. I might actually pull this uh, flanking maneuver off if my line doesn't completely fall apart before then. I guess the trick is being a little more defensive and stop charging all the damn time. They disrupted. How dare they. See, these guys can't get enough of me. They, they try to run away and then I come and uh, just charge right back. Alright. I'm afraid my general is going to die, but I don't really have a choice. Hmm. 
evenly matched troops. Nice places. Okay, good. Cataphracts are starting to do some some good. Okay, they're routing. See, javelmen. Garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. Son of a bitch. Nice. Okay, good. Very good, very good. I hate chariots. Alright. Well, I knew what I was getting myself into, so who am I kidding? However, these are raw, and uh, they're already not doing too hot. So hopefully I can get somewhere with that. Um, I still like my odds against that cavalry. Swing these guys around. Hmm. Well, that's nice knowing you guys, because you're about to die. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was awesome. Please charge. Flank charge. More flank charges. No. No flank charges? That's fine. You guys. Jerks. Um, I'm just gonna keep on attacking because I do not need more of these guys to um, rally. Oh, interesting. Well, I have caused some some mischief, if I do say so myself. Yeah, I like my ads. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Remind me to never say that again. That was stupid. Alright. Um, you stay there, because I don't want you to die. You go here. I don't know, like, you walk here. I will lose. I will lose, that's fine, but I like my odds if I don't fall back. I swear to God. I swear to God. Alright, I'm gonna try it. You gotta take chances in battle, right? Alright, well, that didn't really do anything, but that's fine. See, the danger in me attacking here is that they will route and then all of a sudden I'm running but I just wanted to fragment them like that um, because I think that gives me a better uh, opportunity all right good so now this is what I feared where I am facing a disrupted troop about to get attacked uh, from the flank by a uh, superior legion so in case uh, you're unfamiliar with uh, Antiquity warfare, that's not good. Just get some javelmen in here, just cause some ruckus. Ruckus achieved. So maybe I can kill some of these guys. And uh, I did kill some, so that's cool. Alright, what else has happened since then? Can I do anything here? No, I cannot. Alright. Well, you are... In bad shape, my buddy. Please die. He's gonna be so bummed when he dies. Ah, uh, evading. What a surprise. I was hoping that would be a rear attack. Alright, so now these javelin horses have to go save the day. Um, and everybody else has to die. Man, they lost 70 men and held firm. That's impressive. What are you? Are you guys superior or what? Above average. Well, I'll allow it. Good rat, my friends. Rat. See, my cavalry's getting behind everybody, which is a good sign. Okay, held firm. Wow. I'm getting some, uh... Some lucky swings of, of Lady Luck today. Dispersed, yes! Haha! <laughs> Routed off the screen. 
take that. Uh oh. Who did what now? Oh wait, I flank attacked them. Yes, that's exactly what you wanted. You know, you want your cavalry to seek out and just keep on pushing. Because now it looks like I've got a whole little pocket right here. And, uh, you yeah, know, not bad. As I said that, my javelin routed, but I mean, you could have just, I could have just titled this video Javelin Route. And uh, actually, maybe I will. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I should be a little more boring, though. But this entire side is totally destroyed. So what I need to do is I need to get this pike phalanx off of combat and put him into a square before he dies. Um, because otherwise he will die. And great, now these guys are going to flank me. Uh oh. Not good. Not good at all. Yeah, good. Sulla charged, and he lost 34 men, and he fell back. Take that, Sulla. Maybe I can kill Sulla. Um, so just to be clear, I am losing this battle. <laughs> um, it's not good. But it's still kind of teetering at the edge of, maybe I will pull it off, maybe I won't. Um, we'll see. Please die. Oh my god, if they could die. Brakes, auto. Ah, shoot. This is... Oh, there's my alarm. But the good news is my general did not chase them, which means that I'm in good shape. I'm in very good shape. Alright. If they route, then we are truly lost. Health firm. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Riding. Javelin route. Yep, yep, javelin routing. That should be the, the motto of this game. I don't know. Held firm, well, cool. Good job. They're, they're definitely going to be pushed back, though. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. So, I may be mistaken, but I believe that this legionnaire's flank is entirely open. Uh-oh. Fragmented, but not pushed back. Yes. Uh-oh. Well, held firm. Maybe I can kill those guys, too. Let's see. 52, not bad. Held firm. All right, you know what? I'm going to actually call that time for this first part of the fourth battle. This is turning out to be quite the the adventure, and uh, I thought it would actually take less time than it would, to be honest. So I'm going to have to call a break right now, but stay tuned for, for part two of the fourth battle in this Mithridates campaign, uh, where the questions we ask are, am I going to lose this battle? And if so, will it be an embarrassing defeat? Or will I turn it around with my cavalry flank doing well and the rest of my troops existing? And of course, javelin routing. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great one.